Hi there lovebirds, this is Pamela from Castaway Weddings and I'm here to let you know today that guess what? We've released a new blog and guess what it's about? Our most frequently asked question. Can you guess what it is? Hmm. It's how do we get legally married in Zanzibar? That's our most frequently asked question. I think the reason that it's probably the most uh, frequently asked question is probably because there's so much conflicting information on the internet and everywhere. Um, lots of people say different things. I've even had someone uh, try to explain to me that they can't get legally married because someone told them so and actually it was just a plain lie. Um, so people are a little bit conflicted with information so it's really important that you get it right. So that's why we wrote the blog especially for people like you. So pop on over and uh, click on the bio here on Instagram or you can go and check it, check it out on www.castawayweddings.com um, it's got loads of great tips. It's got a list of everything that you'll need. If you need more detail, um, because you have a, a complex uh, marriage coming up, uh, like you combine two countries or countries that are a little bit more difficult to process, then let us know and we'll be able to help you. We work very closely with a legalised agent who's excellent. And um, so I really don't worry that much about my paperwork um, when I get it from clients. My number one tip to you would be though, is to make sure that you get your paperwork in early. It's one of the first things that I ask uh, couples to do. Always get the paperwork in early. One, because it leaves you uh, a lot of uh, time to like just relax and not stress about paperwork, but because it's really important that you get the paperwork right, because if you don't get the paperwork right, you're not getting legally married in Zanzibar, I'm afraid. Um, so it's really critical, and I always really push this first. Um, some countries, it's a lot easier to get married. The process is very, very simple. So for people like me, uh -huh, lucky are me from the UK, it's very, very easy to get married here in Zanzibar. Um, also, uh, the United States, Canada, also very easy. When you start moving into countries that are more like France and Germany, um, it becomes a little bit more tricky. It's still not difficult, but it adds uh, additional processes. For example, um, embassies need to provide um, a special stamps. They need to verify, check everything um, before it will be accepted back in your home country. So there's a lot of little things that um, need checking. And I'm big on detail, so I really like to make sure this is done correctly. Um, also, sometimes people provide paperwork and maybe it's not certified properly. Maybe um, they've not translated it. Um, basically, the registry will not accept paperwork if it is not in English. So it's very, very important that you get a paperwork in early. Make sure you check it. Make sure you check the requirements um, for your local government also, and then marry that up with the information of Zanzibar. It's critical that you check that. Um, and you really do need to do your research. Don't just look on one website and think, oh, that's what it is, or don't just listen to one um, supplier um, to check, because it can be quite a tricky thing at times, um, depending on where you're from and what kind of legalization you require. So basically, the post is uh, to highlight those basic general issues, um, and if you need more information, let me know. Click on the bio link and have a good read. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you have a fabulous weekend. Bye.